Hi, so I'm just trying to make this guide as a uh, easy way to get a lot of stuff to start, like some sacred tears, um, some seeds to get extra flasks. Uh, the sacred tears are what makes it so your flasks restore more. And then you can get 74,000 souls from killing a dragon really, really easily. It's a good way to jumpstart your character and to get started. Um, this is like a basic character I just started out. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Still level 5, haven't done anything yet. Um, I actually forgot to pick a starting boon on this character, but I would suggest probably the seed, unless you want to get uh, the statue key right here, the stone sword keys. That's another good option. But uh, this dungeon's also going to be a lot more difficult than what a basic brand new player will be able to do at level 5 or level 9, whatever you start as. So this is obviously just normal stuff you grab. I'm going to show you from the beginning here and where you can go and I'll try and speed it up if I can. I'm recording this on a PlayStation 4, unfortunately, with a PlayStation, or not PlayStation, but uh, with a headset microphone that's attached to the controller. So I don't know if it's going to be like super amazing um, quality or anything. But you come out here and you can see the tree sentinel over there. I highly suggest you avoid him. On your first time through here, you should probably avoid him and just run your way up to the cathedral. He's actually meant for people to fight later on, once you've actually killed some bosses to level up a little bit. So if you come to this cathedral here, this is where you'll get your first out of the area, uh, what's the word, grace, and stop here, touch the grace, you want to rest there, change your flask allocation, whatever. So you could talk to this guy, and I really suggest buying the crafting kit, and then if you want, you can also buy uh, any of the extra stuff from him to increase your crafting kit recipes. If you wait here, you might get a cutscene for uh, Melina, otherwise you won't get it right away. She's the one who allows you to level up and to uh, go to the round table eventually, but that's like a later thing for upgrading your weapons. If you actually pass time until nightfall, you should get someone that'll appear here either now or later if you come back. That, I guess she's not here right now. You probably have to come back at another time, but she'll be right here and you can use her uh, bell that she'll give you to do summons. So now we can actually bypass all of these enemies here basically. Um, or you can kill them, whatever you prefer. Either way, we just need to get past this area. If you stop at these things, you can kill them. They actually recharge your flasks, and sometimes they give you other bonus items. They run away if you take too long to attack them, so you should focus on killing them. So yeah, Teardrop Scarab. This one just restored my flasks, and that's it. Oh, wait, never mind. There might be material here. Nope, it's just a mushroom. But some of them do drop items. Watch out for the bats right there. Those things will hurt you. So if you see that golden thing in the distance, that actually is a grace. This is just another little tip I'm giving while I'm already on the way to do this stuff. If you need to get the map for this area, like if you click on whatever your map button is, you'll see that the map's all blank. There is a monument over there next to those guys that will give you a map for this zone. You don't necessarily need the map for what I'm doing, so I'm just going to show you. If you rest at the bonfire, or grace, sorry, out here, then you should have a conversation with Melina, and she will give you the spectral steed and all that stuff. Have you heard? They serve, but you, I can play turning Wu to aid you. You need O to the foot. Then it said summon me. Ah, I bequeath. So now you can summon your spectral you steed. It will summon torrent. Treat him with. And then you can go back to doing the normal stuff. See, now I you can level up. Let my Share them with use me. runes to level up, obviously. Yes. You didn't already know that. And then now, we can leave here. 
go this direction. So if you go down this direction, there's like a little lake down, down here. Um, this is one you can actually walk on. I highly suggest probably not going here right away unless you're really, really good at the game because there's like a huge dragon. But come this way. Underneath this bridge, there's gonna be a bunch of enemies that'll fall down. Just try and avoid them. You don't need to kill them for what we're doing. Ooh, there's more enemies right here. So when we get up to that tree that's right in front of us, we're actually gonna get dismounted from the torrent, and we're gonna get invaded by a dark spirit. Let's see if I die the first time, probably. But um, if you hold out long enough against this guy, you'll actually get a helper. And this guy drops the weapon that we need. See? Bloody finger. There he just. <clears throat> Your helper will come from this direction over here. Um, this guy just has mostly dagger attacks, and he does have a range attack that will hit you. So be careful. That way. And that will make you bleed, so. Hardest part is killing this guy, but you also get the helper. Once he dies, you get this dagger called the Reduvia. So now that you have the Reduvia, you can start doing the rest of what we're doing. Oh, strange. I think the uh, helper just randomly died. So now you can equip that. If you don't have the stats to equip it, it doesn't matter. You don't need to worry about that. You just need to know that it has the passive effect of causing blood loss. And the blood loss is what we need. So you switch that weapon. Now we are going to teleport back to the north. <coughs> Aged lot north. Teleport. This way tarnished. May I have a word? I am the witch. Ren. I'd heard tant upon the talk. I thou art to call forth. I was entrusted by torrents. Tis a bell of call to summon. Oh, we're here. On top. Off on inspection state. You're gonna follow this road over that bridge. There's gonna be a bunch of enemies along the way, I'm just trying to avoid them. This guy's a boss that only spawns at night. Try to avoid him. Come back here, and you take the road to the north. anything that's along the path. Stop over here, there's another grace. If anything is chasing you, you can use this to reset that. Um, there's actually a horde of wolves that'll randomly spawn in this area. If you come in here, talk to this lady if she's here. Um, she's not here right now, but I'm not sure why. I got it on a different character, but not this one. <coughs> okay. So, from the artist shack, this is where we're gonna head now. We're gonna head back south a little bit. Then we're gonna come 
off of this cliff right here on like a short spot. Make sure you don't jump off too far, otherwise you will die, which I did in one of the takes. And you come between these rune areas, <clears throat> and then you'll know you're in the right spot because you're going to see this like overarching bridge type thing of ruins. There's actually a guy on top of there with a quest, if you want to talk to him. He wants you to clear some settlement for him, basically, to regain his territory. There's a lot of enemies in here, you just avoid them. Or you can kill them if you want, they're all pretty weak. On my uh, astrologist, it took one attack each. Otherwise, just keep following this road. And when you follow this road, you're going to see a giant here. That's how you know you're still going the right way. Now, for this giant, you could kill him like I did on the other character. Or you could just avoid him. When you go around him, you see that there's this church area over here. So this church area is where you want to go. In this church here, you're going to find a lot of really nice stuff. So over here, you're going to find, I believe, what's called the tier. Yep. So the tier is going to increase your Estus Flask usage, and then this is a Wondrous Visit Flask. This is basically like a specialty flask you could make. You can It gives you an item right away that'll restore half your HP with it. You can combine it with other materials to do different stuff. But you should probably stop at the grace here. And once you're down at the grace, you come in this direction. And back in this tree line here, there is a little swamp. And you can see there's something blue leading you in a direction here. So if you go through here, this is going to travel you to a different location. So now that you've teleported and you're in this area, you can open this up and this will allow you to pay the this area. I don't know exactly what this guy will be because I'm not that far in the game but I believe he's like a future covenant or something. Either that or he might be a future boss, but he's not hostile or anything right now. So you can walk up to him and he'll just give you dot 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 basically. So probably not worth attacking him unless you want to die. Um, by the way, on the map, this is where the sense are bringing you in the very top right corner. So it is also a very high level zone for the most part. So you want to be careful doing too much here. There's this giant sphinx wielding a halberd right here. You do not want to uh, mess with him. Uh, he won't attack you unless you attack him, so just leave him be. Just run down this way a little bit or pull out your horse and do it. You can see right there, there's a tree. I'm going to grab that, and it's a seed. These guys are worth like a thousand experience if you kill them here. Uh, unless you're a caster or pretty tanky, it's probably not the best for you. If you go this way, there's going to be a dragon on that bridge, so I would avoid fighting that dragon, but there is another grace right over here. So if you go straight this direction here, you will end up finding a guy that drops uh, smolder uh, stones if you kill them. I don't know if it's just a chance to drop them, or if it's uh, just an enemy that does it one time. But that is the guy, or the stone you need in order to upgrade your boss weapon, including this dagger with ground holding. If you end up liking the dagger, then it's worth getting those materials. So we're going to come back up this way. where it is. So there's another path down here. Now you gotta be careful here because there's a lot of traps on the ground that will poison you if you walk directly on the path. Like I'll hit one. There it is. See? 
you start getting poisoned over time. So if you walk on the path there, you might get poisoned and die before you get over here far enough. But what your goal is now is to get over here to this tower. And once we get here, we're going to rest in the grace again. Okay, now that we're back at Lens Rise, we're going to summon our steam. So, we go back this way, and you see that there's this uh, torrent here, a torrent to use. Spirit Spring. You're going to use Spirit Spring to jump up. You're going to go to the left here. And then here's a graveyard that you can actually loot a bunch of uh, souls and stuff, or runes. Sorry, I'm still used to the other souls games, like Blood Echoes and Souls, instead of runes. But these big ones, like the 8 one, I think that gives you like 3,000 or something like that. Totally worth picking up. It's definitely a good start for you. So once that's done, you're going to keep going this direction. So you can see off in the distance if there's the heat. But there's also this ginormous tree. So right here there's some items, I don't know if they're important, but they're in an area that is just constantly getting struck by lightning, so watch out. Don't go straight down this path if there's a boss right there. Make sure you veer to the left around this tree. Unless you want to die that boss, he is pretty strong. His name is like Putrid something. Like Putrid Avatar, I think it was. So if you jump up here. Now you're going to be going up here towards this keep that I was talking about. So when you get to this keep, you're going to grab the grace over here. You can see the gold leading you away. So, grab the grace. Now this is the part where you get 74,000 runes. You're going to take that dagger that I had you get and killing that guy. And you're going to come up here, and I found the best spot that's just effective for me is to go like right here. This dragon, I think he attacks on the other side possibly, I don't know for sure. But if you are back here, he doesn't do it you, and you can just generally attack it. But you see, like, I barely do any damage, but then you see I just summoned the 13,000 damage. That's the key of the So, you want to make sure you let your stamina bar go up all the way every time. Just so that way you're gonna get more hits in. It usually takes like two stamina bars to get up lead, if not a little bit more. There's about 13k. He's got like a hundred thousand life, so I think you can do it like an eight-ish kind of thing. And then when he dies, you get five dragon hearts you have 74 thousand rooms is for just starting the game. Because this is a brand new character like I had stated before. So I'm going to like quadruple my level. When I put this on another character, I went to level 20 and I went to level 34. So now he's almost dead. Because his bleed takes a lot, so that's what he should say. If you use a normal weapon, you're probably going to use it for like an hour. He's going to do about 17 damage with a lot of characters, maybe 20. But this bleed that does 13,000 is what makes it doable. Or you can do some toxic with it with another weapon. That helps. Dragon is dead. suggest going back to the graces and spending those before you continue on adventuring here because there's some dangerous spots. I go from level 5 to level 32 instantaneously just from that one guy. You can actually go a little bit higher too if you wanted. Um, you can use those runes that we found at the graveyard but either way. I'm not trying to focus on doing that right now. So, next, you're going to go this way. You're going to run towards this giant skull thing that you can see the backside of. And you can see that there's a torrent there. It fails half the time, I've noticed, but uh, you jump down here using this torrent, and it's supposed to save you. I had 
like four attempts earlier when I did this that it did not save me, so just be careful. So there's another church right over here, and this church gives you, I think, another seed or another sacred tier, one of the two. So, if you picked the seed as one of your starter items, which I actually forgot to pick a single one on this character, but you'll be able to use two golden seeds to activate and get two more flasks right away, and then you can use two sacred tiers right away to increase the amount that your HP and FP will restore with your flasks. So you have two boosts for flasks use and effectiveness right away in the beginning of the game. You get 74,000 plus runes, and you also got the Spectral Steed, all that stuff. You got a nice little dagger if you like it. You can talk to this chick and oh, she just tells you to leave because she's rotted. Um, there was a couple other things in this area, but I don't actually remember exactly. Um, probably not a good idea to continue exploring here. Uh, there's a lot of dragons in the nearby zone where we killed the dragon. There's about five other ones in a very small area, and they will probably free team you and kill you. Um, so yeah, that's what I found as a decent way to start the game. Um, you start the game, you can avoid the first boss fight, you can avoid that first area, just come kill that guy um, with that helper, get the dagger, you go up to the artist shack, you can talk to her, I believe it's only at a certain time of day or something, um, or it's when you have killed a boss, one of the things happens. Um, don't forget that if you have the ability to ride torrent, you go back to the church, and you will be able to talk to the woman with the bell, and then you'll be able to summon helpers to help you. Then you come up here, and you can kill the dragon, get all the yeah, or get all the runes, get the two tiers, get the two seeds along the way, and then you have a really good start. Um, sorry if I ramble and say things awkwardly or start to say things bad, you know. I have never really made a video before, but I hope this helped. Uh, take care, and have a good day.